This is the price data of Bitcoin over the last seven days. If at any point in this period, you were spooked out of your position or you found yourself FOMOing into the market, make sure you watch this video right through to the end. This is gonna be very helpful in a bull market and also in a bear market. It is timeless exercises for your long-term investment success. Thanks for joining me on the channel again. My name is Jason Pizzino. You've found your home of hopium free cryptocurrency content. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit bell notification icon and all so that you can see this content pop up in your newsfeed. Today, we are looking at, will you get rich in the Bitcoin and crypto bull market? Make sure you do this now. It is super easy. Some people will find it boring, but at the end of the day, it is super helpful and I found it to be very helpful long-term. Why is this period most important? The last seven days. This is today at the moment. We've only been in the market for 45 minutes, so these last seven days is what we are seeing on the market. So the news has been crazy. That's what we have seen over the last seven days. And if you're spooked out of your position, we can see now that the market has only moved about 1.9% from the close on the 20th to the close on the 27th. In that period of time, we have seen Evergrande collapse, or at least the news come out of its collapse. We have seen the Evergrande flow on effects. We have seen Wall Street fall. We have seen China banning cryptocurrency transactions. We have seen the US government put more and more pressure on cryptocurrencies. And just earlier this month, we saw leverage liquidations clean up the market. Now we are in the process of regathering. And from this point, there's a lot of institutional buying happening as we'll also cover in the news. And if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency trading and investing, make sure you check out the Patreon link down below. This is for our TIA Lite for the innovators and for the early adopters. There are still some spots remaining and also check out the free newsletter to get updates for more placements in the Patreon group. So I'm spanning it from this tweet that I put out this morning. The Bitcoin price is exactly the same as it was seven days ago. In that time, we've seen China bans, we've seen Evergrande fiasco, uh, all that has escalated and the US has continued to put more and more pressure on in the crypto space, but the price hasn't gone anywhere. Now, the major point I'm making here is that the news is going to be very negative during bull markets as well as bear markets. And if you're being moved, scared out of positions and chop and changing between different cryptocurrencies, it's going to be very difficult to get rich long term with your cryptocurrency investments. This has been happening forever in all financial markets. So the sooner you can get a grasp on how the news works with the, with the charts, the easier it's going to become for you to build your wealth in cryptocurrency. So the news headlines, Evergrande investors should worry, but not about the uncontrolled collapse. This is on September 20th. The next news headline, cryptocurrency markets plummet in wake of Evergrande default fear. So that's the 21st. So we can see the 20th and the 21st. And then we had China bans all cryptocurrency 25th, but obviously the 24th in other areas of the world. And then the market goes sideways for a couple of days. And just recently, cryptocurrency exchanges scramble to drop Chinese users as Beijing's ban comes into force. US regulators are racing towards their first major rules. But on top of that, we have a huge inflows of investment into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency see sixth straight week of inflows. And you can see the data down here. Inflows to the sector hit 95 million last week, led by investments in Bitcoin of 50 million, uh, according to CoinShares data on September 24th. Over the last six weeks, crypto inflows amounted to 320 million for 2021 inflows were 6 billion so far. So what is this super simple thing? You've listened to me for the last few minutes. It is learning from your mistakes in history. And how do you do that? Trading journal, write this stuff down. I'm pretty sure I'd lose a lot of people's attention at that point because it is so simple, yet you have to do some action to get the results from this. This is the stuff that I've been doing for over 11 years and it makes so much difference to my investing and uh, obviously my trading on a day-to-day -day basis. So the mistakes, reacting to news without a plan. If you've been reacting to all of this news, which I've covered here that we've seen in the last seven days and it hasn't gone in your favor, go back and check why. If you've written it down, it's gonna be so much easier to do that. 
only following other people's advice. So if you're just following this channel or you're following other channels and you're just doing what people are talking about, not necessarily telling you what to do, that could also be a huge mistake. I would definitely say do not follow any channel, including mine, word for word. Go and do your own research, but have a plan. And if you don't have a plan, or an easy way to start having a plan is to write out what you're doing on a day-to-day basis to figure out how you're trading or investing now and you can build from that. The other mistake is lack of consistency to your finances, whether that's investing, trading, your your diet. Maybe you're trying to figure out your health. And so the lack of consistency in anything is going to affect the results that you get. So the super simple, easy thing to do is have a trading journal. This helps you remember the past. And that's why I like looking at charts because that helps me understand what the market has done uh, previously, whether it's the last week, the last day, the last 10 years, all of this is history. The data on a chart is history. And so that's why I still use it as well for a trading journal. I get to write down just like I do with these videos and I also do it in Patreon as well. I give a trading journal to everyone in in Patreon so that people can learn from their mistakes. I'm not 100% right, but that's why I tend to write it down or at least make a video on it to see how I can improve in the future. So here's an easy example of a trading journal. This is what I have done and this is essentially what my videos are like and also Patreon posts as well. I have the date, I have the notes and the action that I took and the emotions. So if I was going through the 20th of September and that news came out of uh, China banning cryptocurrencies or Evergrande collapsing, then I can just write a quick note. Well, I sold my Bitcoin because why? My emotions and the actions, I was scared the market would fall further. If you have this data, then you can come back on it. Now, if you came to the video thinking that I would just tell you how to get rich and what to buy and what to sell, I'm sorry, you've come to the wrong channel. And if this has triggered you that there are better ways to do things, please let me know in the comments down below. But this is a way that I've found that works really well for me over the last 11 years of trading and also works really well with diet, health, uh, goal setting, anything like that. Something as simple as possible and I can then reflect on that. I really love the chart as a visual representation of what the market is actually doing. Not what I think, not what I feel, not what other influencer thinking or feeling that the market is doing. This is what the market is actually doing. From the 20th to the 27th, it was only about a 1.9% drop, which is $800 difference on Bitcoin. And the amount of emotion that was built up in this period you would have expected this market to have fallen beneath its old all-time or old recent lows of around 28,000. Evergrande collapsed, the biggest thing, the second biggest property development company in China, US cracking down, China bans cryptocurrency, uh, making it illegal to trade cryptos. These sort of things you would expect to have crashed the market so much further. Maybe it will happen in time, but because I've got the trading journal for myself to reflect back on how I was thinking and feeling at the time, that'll allow me to improve my actions in the market uh, during these crazy periods. Reflecting back on my investments also helps as I manage my own retirement fund, and that's through an SMSF. If you guys in Australia are interested in investing your superannuation, into cryptocurrencies, check out the link down below for New Brighton Capital. Free 20-minute consultation down there if you want to understand how you can put your super money into cryptocurrencies. Use Pizzino as a referral code and you can get 150 bucks of free credit as well when you sign up. Now, if all of that is way too difficult for you, you can always check out Mr. Gox, the crypto trading hamster that is beating human investors. So if all of this is just way too much work, can't be bothered writing it down, The hamster is beating everyone. There is a live feed going on at the moment and you can check out the trades that Mr. Hamster is doing. You found value from this? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. See you on Instagram or Twitter or also on Patreon. Till next time, have more fun to get more done.